At the turn of the year, Scottish politics was thrown up into the air. Where things are going to land remains unclear, but it feels like maybe, just maybe, the sense of certainty regarding Scotland's political composition in Holyrood and outside of it might be beginning to fade as we escape 2014's long shadow. How Scottish politics will recalibrate is uncertain. What is not is the necessity to raise our level of public debate with reasoned analysis and proper critique, because discussion in Scotland has been stumbling along for years. In place of principles, we find a politics of hyper-personalisation, a politics that searches for partners locking out conflict or efforts to expose contradiction. While the British state looks out for its own, the Scottish establishment is too comfortable. It's too cosy with the people and institutions that once pledged change, but now make nice with the very people they promised to usurp. Look under the progressive, inclusive veneer, and it's still one big club, and we're still not allowed in. The operation of government and the choices of decision makers are obscured by a polarisation that suits all stripes of Scotland's political class, but breeds apathy and alienates democratic engagement. Wouldn't it be nice if Scotland traded this sterile antithesis that lulls us all to sleep for a public debate fit for our age of crisis, be it climate, cost of living or war? That's why we are relaunching Scotia. Scotland needs better media that embraces our democratic demands for justice, equality and change. Scotia was never backed by big donors, only ever by folk like you. And it's in that spirit we'll continue, for our task is change in the interest of the millions, not the millionaires. As the political sphere finds its footing once again, debate will focus on what has been and what is to come. But we'll do what we can for honest, informed discussion. Join us as we try to shatter Scotland's political consensus with an approach to media rooted in the struggle of people and movements. For a better country.